Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and welcome to my vlog. So today's vlog will be slightly different. What I have decided to do, I would like to do those very short and sweet uh, videos where I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the tips and some of the tricks um, how to make your uh, hatchet photography more efficient and basically give you more valuable information to help you with your headshot photography. So today's vlog, I would like to dedicate it and talk a little bit more about the lights I've been using. This is one of the most common questions I've been receiving from my audience. What kind of lights do you use and why did you choose those type of light? And I would like to address this today and talk a little bit more in bigger depth to give you a little bit more understanding what I'm using and why. So everyone who is following me, you guys probably know I'm a huge fan of speed light. I've been using them religiously for the last seven, eight years and I absolutely love them. I wouldn't change them to anything else and I'm gonna keep using them because I think they're fantastic and they definitely give me everything what I need. So let me start off telling you what kind of speed lights I'm using. So I'm using a little bit older uh, speed lights. Um, I'm using the Nikon ones, uh, the ones which I'm having, uh, they're a Nikon SB910. And I think they're fantastic. Um, I think they're really robust. They're very well made. As I said in my previous vlogs, they never disappointed me and I never had any issues with them. They never broke on me for the last seven, eight years. So that also tells you the, the kind of quality and how well they were made. So there's tons of other speed lights on the market right now and I don't wanna share any opinion because I didn't have a chance to use any of them and I think that would be uh, unfair to give you any of my opinions because I have no idea how they work, um, I have no idea how well they're made and um, I think you have to do kind of own research and basically uh, decide which direction you want to go. So let me talk a little bit more in detail how I make this entire system work. So as I said, my speed lights are a little bit older and they don't have built-in uh, triggering system. I have to have separate devices to put on my speed lights to trigger them. And in my case, I'm using the Pocket Wizard triggers. They're really well made. They're really good. I really like them. They also allow me to shoot a high speed sync. And I'm not going to go into details what the high speed sync is. Um, I'll put some links down below so you guys can watch it, uh, especially for those who don't even know what the high speed thing is. So the way it works, um, I have to put those devices on my speed lights and I also have another device, a uh, little mini trigger, which I have to put on my uh, camera and that's how I control triggering my speed lights. So let's move on to the next thing and um, I just wanna share how many speed lights do I use for my head shots because this is another confusing thing for a lot of um, my viewers and basically I'm using three speed lights I'm using one speed light for the main light I'm using one for the kicker and also I'm using one for the background that gives me ability to control the entire scene sometimes whenever you guys have a chance to see some of my behind the scene lights you see most of the time only two speed lights because the third one most of the time is hidden behind the subject and that's why it, it sometimes it's hard to see it but um, as I said 95% of my headshots are shot with three speed lights and um, you don't have to have three there's other way to kind of work around it but that's how I created my system and that's how I think works best for the headshots because as I said um, and I don't want to repeat myself you can control control each aspect of your scene. So you have, uh, you control your subject light and you control also the background light and you can make quite interesting balance between those two to make sure this entire headshot looks really cool, really unique and um, really um, interesting. So let's move on to the next aspect, which is what kind of mode I'm using on my speed lights to shoot my headshots. So there's two ways of um, using those speed lights. Um, one mode which you can use is TTL 
and the second one is manual i'm not a big fan of ttl and i'm gonna just briefly tell you why the ttl basically works the way that your camera controls the power of your speed light and i'm not really big fan of it because this whole thing is very inconsistent and you can do several shots and everyone might have different power output and as I said, that gives you inconsistent results. And I try to shoot TTL a little bit, but if you move around and you work with some different locations and you're working with some locations which have very difficult lighting, uh, your camera pretty much goes crazy. And that's something which you don't wanna have throughout the shoot and you don't wanna basically check your images every five minutes to see what you're getting uh, because you have to focus, I think, on your subject, not on your exposure and what's going on with your lights. So that's why I exclusively shoot manually. That gives you a little bit more control and you have consistent lighting. You have the same output over and over again and you don't have to check um, every five minutes what's really going on again that takes a little bit of time to figure it out how to make this whole thing works I'm gonna address this in separate vlog but uh, the main thing what I want to say is whenever you're shooting your speed light and especially headshots if you want to be consistent and you want to know exactly what is happening I highly recommend it to shoot um, in manual mode so the next is choosing the right power and depends on the location depends on the environment you're shooting in you have to figure this out um, and there is no i would say blueprint what kind of power you should have um, on your speed lights but there's several rules which i'm following and this is what i would like to share with you guys first of all you don't want to shoot on the full power uh, because that's what's going to eat up your battery very quick uh, on the top of that the recycling time will be uh, very slow and you're going to be pretty much uh, struggling so usually my starting point is to shooting at 132 of the power this is a fracture of your full potential of your of your speed light and that also gives you the ability to shoot for a longer time and do basically shoot more images i did some tests and basically on 132 of the power i could take around thousand images which is a lot if you think about it and especially running off batteries so this is a starting point again this is not a rule um, this is something which also you have to adjust it depends where you're shooting and depends on the subject depends on the location depends on the available light this is my starting point and you have to start somewhere so that's how i usually set them up the last thing i would like to talk about it is the batteries for the speed light i highly recommend it to get some of those rechargeable batteries because you don't have to uh, go bankrupt because you have to just keep buying new batteries uh, those rechargeable batteries they're amazing after every shoot i'm come back from to the office and I recharge them and they basically are ready to go. Uh, you spend a little bit of extra at the beginning, but for the long run, uh, you're gonna be extremely happy with uh, the results. Uh, also, I think they're a little bit more, more powerful, they work better and you don't have to worry about the batteries ever again. So my batteries, which I'm using right now, I've been using them for the last three and a half, four years and they're still running amazingly. So I highly recommend them, especially when you're shooting speed light. Okay, so that would be pretty much um, everything. If you have any specific questions or you would like to add something to this vlog, please feel free to leave the comment or send me direct message or contact me through social media. I'll be more than happy to um, answer all your questions. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys um, get a little bit more information about the, the type of lights I'm using. Um, stay tuned and I'll be chatting with you guys shortly. Bye-bye.